Hey everybody, welcome back to this Grossa Carton Spiel. So, good luck, Gook Alf. We're starting the second shift. Jen is the first player, and where is she going to go? Well, so there's a few things that are attractive to her right off the bat. One, another black train. Because remember, if you can't, this is a game all about set collection. Um, you know, once you've committed to a given color train, you want more of that color train. Once you've committed to a given uh, 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 industrial partner to ship this coal off to, you really want to stick with that partner if you can. And remember, Jen has committed to triple smokestack here because uh, she's got a stock certificate. She's got a contract with it. Here's another contract for that company. So she'd like to snag that because then maybe later on she'll get the objective card that gives her rewards for having more um, focus on that company. But she'd like to get the black train. Now here's the thing. Jen can see I've already got a blue train, so she knows a black train is implicitly less interesting to me. So I think for her first action, she's going to grab this contract because she's more worried about that. I haven't taken a contract at all yet. And so I might take that seven pointer. So Jen's going to go on ahead and snag this and it goes into her hand. So Jen now has two contracts with this company. Um, one for a single bit of coal and one for a triple. She's already got the single set up and ready to go, but if she can, she'd like to um, ship both of these off with a single action. So that means she needs to set up another black train um, and another loaded up with more coal. And then she could do both of these, fulfill both these contracts with only a single action. So anyway, so that was Jen's first action. She got up the contract. And now there's another contract with the steamship company where there also happens to be a, uh, a stock certificate in that company. So if, if somebody were to grab this and complete the contract and grab this stock, that's eight points to be had there for grabbing both of these co companies. But, you know, Jen's kind of committed to this one. I'm kind of committed to that one. So they're not as exciting. But anyway, so it's my turn. I'm going to go first. And where am I going to go? Hmm. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Well, I do need to get all this coal loaded up. Although, isn't there's a, there's a, uh, there's a technology card that lets you load up to four coal at a time, isn't there? Because this is the kind of problem. If I come over here, hey, I get to load two or three actions. I need four actions to load both of these. So coming here is a bit wasteful. I only get to load one of those cars. But I got to get them loaded eventually anyway. But I don't have to rush on it because I can see Jen doesn't have anything to load. So I should go someplace and grab something while the grabbing is good. The grabbing is good. Let's see here. So I want to get these loaded up, but I want, because here's the thing, I've got this contract for two coal. I want a contract for four coal because I can put four coal onto this train. So it'd be wasteful to only put two coal onto it to only get five points. So you know what? I think the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come right over here to the draw and, you know, to the go fish space. I'm going to, because I want to get a contract that has four. The contract that's on top has two. If I go digging, I might find a contract that has four. Heck, if I'm super lucky, I'll find the contract for this company, the company that I like, that requires four coal. It's in here somewhere. Fingers crossed I find it. Let's see, so I draw and I draw. Now, this is the company I like. And, oh, man, I, no, ah, all right, all right. Well, so I'm going to take one of these. Yeah, ooh, all right, I got a choice. Remember, this is the company I like because I've already got stock in that company and I'm encouraged to get more stock in that company, which means I'm encouraged to do more contracts with this company. But it's only for a single coal. Here's a quad, 10 points for a quad, but it's the shipping company. But you know what? If I take this contract afterwards, I can get this stock, which would be worth. So that means these two combined will be worth 13 points. And then I'm really kind of, I'm, I'm working with two companies instead of one. And that ups my chances of being able to get more bonuses um, instead of focusing like a laser. Because it's if you focus like a laser and you get lucky with your draws, you'll do amazing. But if you focus like a laser, your luck won't be quite there and it's not, maybe not a bad idea to diversify. I'm going to take this one, which means it breaks my heart because I want this one because I want more stock in this company, but I'm putting it, I'll put it at the top of these three at the bottom of the contract pile. And now this was interesting. So I did all of that by using my level two. My level two worker could have just come over here and I would have taken whatever was on top, but instead I came over here and I got a more targeted company that's better for me. Now I need to get all four of these loaded up so I can complete this level four contract for 10 points. These are the biggest contracts in the game. All right, so now I've got two contracts and I now have a vested interest in getting this stock because this stock will combo with this completed contract at the end of the game. All right, so there we go. Jen's turn. Alrighty, and if she wants to do the go fish, she now needs a three. But you know what? I think she is happy just to go on ahead and use a number one over here. 
and get herself another black train. And revealing a golden train. All right, so now she can put it on this line or the top line. Let's see. Well, I think she'll put it on the bottom line because you can see there are cars, the red and the green, that go on the bottom line, only the green go on the top. So this is probably a better line for her based on what cars she can grab, plus based on what coal she can grab. So she'll go ahead and put that there. So that was her turn. Now it is my turn again, 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 again. All right. So yeah, I, I do need to start loading my train. So let's come over here. I get two or three load actions. When you load coal, if you have you have a queue of coal, you can see I've got these two cars. You have to do them first in, first out. This is the first coal I ever grabbed, so it has to be the first one I load. I will take it and I will load it on the symbol matches. I will load it onto my wild card train. There we go. Oh, boom. All right. So that was my turn. Now it is Jen's turn again. And you know what? Jen's kind of surprised. Well, no, nah, 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 she'll just go on ahead. She needs to start building up this train. Um, she'll take this because they're red and she could get this coal later on. So she'll take this, put it on this line she's just started making. All righty. And now it's my turn again. I want to load the rest of my coal. So I will put a number two over here. And now it's getting more expensive in terms of workers to load, to big, big coal loads. This one will come on this train. And so now I've got a big old train loaded with four coal and I've got the contract to complete. So I've set myself up for 10. All right, Jen's turn again. Although, again, I mean, so I could send, I could come over here and I could use a single guy and I could run that. But in a perfect world, I want to have three trains loaded with coal and associated contracts all pulled by the same color engine because then I could, with a single action, I could launch all of those but I don't see any blue engines. I could go digging. I could send a three over here so I could dig and hopefully find a blue engine. But you know, I might come up short, in which case I, that was a very wasteful because I could come over here and take the top one instead of this. Yeah. Anyway, so anyway, that was my turn. I've loaded some more coal. And now it is Jen's turn. She uh, is very, very happy. Just continue with her little plan. She's going to get this very valuable double, which later on she's going to want to put on this car. All right, so that's her turn. And back to me, back to <clears throat> my turn. Hmm. Well, actually, I'm thinking about Jen's turn. So Jen's got this contract for a triple. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because look at this. A wild card car came up. Everybody wants that. Everybody wants that. But it would require a two. I'm going to spend a two. I'm going to get that. Um, but I've already used my two over here. So instead, I'll use two ones to get this and I can put it, I can expand this train, but there's no reason. I mean, you, you, there, there's no contract that the biggest contracts require four. So there's no reason to make this train bigger. I will put it on, let's see, the top or the bottom line. Um, I'll say it's weird. All the coal that's out can only go on the middle line. Wow. Well, what the heck? I'll put it on the bottom line because I can see there are two cars here uh, that, could go, uh, that could get added to this train. All right. So that was that. And then I've revealed another red. And you know, Jen really wanted that wild. But here's the thing, you know, Jen was thinking, if she could have grabbed that wild, she would have expanded this train and then gotten this double and put it on there. And then this line would have had three coal, which would have been enough to complete this contract. But I just took the wild card right out from underneath her. So Jen would really, really like to get a blue rook. So I think to do that, she's going to take a bit of a chance. She's going to come over here. And she's going to go digging in this deck or this deck to try to find a, either a wild card uh, train car or a blue. And which one is she going to go to? Uh, well, it's, uh, well I mean, neither one of the ones on the top are what she wants. But yeah, if she draws bad, I guess she'll come here because if nothing else, she'll take the green that she could add to this train. So she's hoping for blue. Green, red. Ah, there it is, the wild and a blue. All right, she's very, and she's revealed another wild. Wow. Okay, so what the heck? She'll take the wild just because that's more flexibility. She'll put it on here, and these all go to the bottom of this deck, and that was her turn. And she just revealed a wild. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. I'm going to snag that for myself. Booyah! I'm, and now any kind of coal can get loaded onto these cars. I don't have to be restricted to this type of coal because it's the car. Right. So I'm, oh, and another wild got revealed. Wow. Whoa. Wilds are just dropping like flies. They're very, very important. 
So Jen could get that with a two. Yeah, she'll take it. Even though she doesn't need it right now, this is not part of her immediate plan, but she'll take it and she'll put it on her top line, which she'll worry about later. All right. Because she already has plans for these other two lines. Okay. And another while. Now, folks, I shuffled the heck out of this deck. Um, I really shuffled and shuffled, because you got to shuffle in this game a lot. But still, that's three wild cards in a row. Wow. I've got a three. I've got a three and a one. I could get that, and I would be achieving nothing else this turn. But getting another wild card, you know what? What the heck? Let's do it. And I'll get a wild card up here on my um, top line. There it is. And okay, now back to normals. Jeez. But now I'm down to a one. But that's okay, because my one action can be to launch that train. All right, so anyway, anyway Jen's turn. What's she got? She's still got a one, a two, and her crazy um, variable value one. So what is she going to do? Okay, yeah, yeah, all right, all right. So she's going to send a one over here to get this double coal. There we go. All right. So now she has to load this single, which is going to come over here, and then she'll load this double that goes over here. Then she'll have two perfectly um, tricked out trains for her two contracts. Nice. Okay, so that was her turn, my turn. This is my one. It's time, folks, to ship. Let's do it. Because I can't do this. If I did this and I was the only person to come here, hey, I'd score a point and I'd be first player next round, but I have nothing to load, so I can't do that. A uh, single one. I could come over here and have victory points for green trains, but I like blue trains. I could come over here, which just gives me a bonus action later. I'm spending an action now to get a bonus action later. Or I could come over here because I do want this stock certificate because I have an interest in this company, but Jen has shown no interest in this, so I'm not worried about that right now. Let's, let's roll, everybody. All right, so I'm going to run the train. Now, that means I have to show what, you know, which train or trains. I've only got, if I had multiple trains with blue, I could run multiples, but I only have one, so I'm going to, I'm going to run that. It's got four coal. I show that, hey, look, I'm running four coal. This is the contract. I take all these cards, I put them all together, and this was 10 points worth of work. And um, this goes into my score pile, basically. So we don't score until the end of the game. All right. So I've just scored 10 points. Woohoo! And I've now opened up a new train. I've got to get more coal, etc., etc. Although I've got these other trains I could be working on. And because that was a, a contract with the shipping company, I'm going to want to get that stock. And you know what? Oh, and there's another contract with the shipping company. But I really want more contracts with this company because, ugh, we'll worry about that later. Anyway, that was my last turn. So, Jen's turn. She's still got her two and her wild card guy. So, where is this two going to go? Can't come over here. Could come over here and ship some stuff. But no, 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 that's not what she's going to do. She's going to load, isn't she? But she can't. She can't because she needs a three and she only has a two. So Jen's been holding this for a while. I think now's a good time to use it. She's going to use this wild card. Although, no, she could, she could do this right now. And so that's actually really cool. She could do this because she'd use this as a three which means she could load this and this and this, so she'd have all her stuff, and then with her two, her last action could be to ship both of these trains. Booyah! But, um, and here's the interesting thing. If nobody comes here, the shift marker goes to the last player. So if, um, if nobody comes here, Jen immediately scores this one point and stays first player for the next round. So it was incumbent on me to do this, and I missed it. I missed my chance to do it because all those crazy wild cards came out. It just really messed with my head. So Jen could do a 1-2 and get stuff shipped, but if she really wants to go longer, she could get another black engine, start loading up a third train, and then when she eventually runs, she could run all three trains at once. So if she's going for more long term, what does she want to do instead? That means she'd save this for later, she's got a 2, that 2 could get her, another, could get her more coal, it could get her another train, it could get her another contract. Can't come here because there's no 1s. Or she could just ship right now, and she, oh no, but yeah, no, but she's definitely not going to do that. Hmm. Um. You know what? I think she's going to build up for a longer term goal. She's going to come over here and get another two point that she's going to have to load onto a train eventually. Um, so she's starting to build up a big backlog of trains to deliver. All right, so it's my turn. I have no more workers, so I'm passing. It's Jen's turn. She could use this if she wants, but she's not going to, so she's passing. The second shift is ended, and since I didn't come here, it goes to the last player, so Jen just scored a point for doing nothing. And now we move on to the third round, folks. 
So we get our workers back. And Jen is still the first player, although I was the first to actually make any points in this game, because nothing uh, counts unless you actually ship coal. And right, so Jen is the first player out of the gate. What is she going to do? Hmm. Right. So, well, she wants to get the stuff she... Right. So I think she'll just use a one to, to make three loading actions. First, she'll do this single over here. And then she'll has two more. So she'll do this double over here. There we go. So now both those trains are loaded up nice. And what the heck? Let's, let's make it look nice. There we go. You don't have to. You can just put them on top. But it is nicer to put them underneath. Even though it's very painful to do this with one hand. Ah, there we go. So... Jen's first action, she loaded up. Although, that's not a really wise first action because she can see I'm not going to load. She should take advantage. She's the first player out of the gate. She should not be, yeah, she should wait for later. Uh, but I don't have to undo all that. Well, she'll do that in a little bit. But I see. She'll do that later. What's the first thing she's going to do? She should take advantage of the fact that she is first. Um, what would she take advantage of then? What the heck? She'll grab this technology over here, which will give her a bonus action later on in the game. So she just did that. Now it's and later on she'll do this. All right, she's thinking about this. And she knows as soon as she sees me getting some coal, she'll come over here really quick before so she can load before I do. So she's got this in mind. Let's just remember she's doing that. I just don't want to have to undo all that. Sorry, folks. All right, so where am I going first? Uh hmm. oh, right. Oh, I wanted this contract. Or this, because I've completed a contract with the shipping company, so I want that. But again, Jen has no interest in it. I know this is the only company she's interested in, um, because she's got that stock, so I know she's not going to take that. Maybe I want to get this contract and take that. If I take this, she might take that. Here's the thing, though. Um, even if Jen doesn't want to take that, she might come over here and go digging, which would make this disappear. There's always a chance of that. So I'm not going to take a chance. I'm going to get this contract to supplement the, um, the, the, uh, the this, this stock certificate to supplement the contract I already did. All righty. And I keep that public so everybody knows I have an interest in that company. All right. So I did that. And now it's Jen's turn. She still doesn't have to rush here because I still have no coal to load. So speaking of coal, maybe she should go get some. There's a double and a double. She'll go on ahead. Yeah, with that. She'll send a single and get this double to queue it up. There we go. And revealed, ooh, a single that's worth a point. The doubles are never worth points, um, but the singles are. All right, so that's Jen's turn. I need some coal as well. Uh, let's see. Well, I see, because I've got this contract to deliver two things. To the, to the company that I like. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get this because then once I load it here and then just put an engine on that, I could finish this contract toot sweet. So I've done that. Now that Jen sees, hey, I've got some coal to load, Jen's going to get over here and load with her level one before I get there. So now Jen does it, and I've already done that earlier. She loaded up. Now it's my turn. And, uh, right, what am I going to do? Mm. <laughs> Nobody's come to the dig. I could come to the dig and try to dig for some more of the company I like. Because I, you know, I, I dabbled in the steamship company, but I don't particularly like them. I like the smokestack, or whatever you call that company, because of my objective. So let's, get, let's see if we get lucky. I'm going to draw. Um, there, that's what I want to see, baby. That's my company. Yep, I got three companies I don't care about, and I did get the contract that I wanted. I need to deliver three to my favorite company. I'll put these ones back at the bottom of the deck. So that worked out well. And I have now revealed, hey, nobody's had a contract with this company, the little uh, square box house company. All right. So that worked out well. I got lucky. All right, so I've got two contracts I need to fulfill now, both with the same company, which means I want to get more stock certificates in that company. I want to get more objectives based on that company. But that'll come later. It's Jen's turn. So she is loaded up. She could go on ahead now and ship and ship two things. But she wants to get, let's see, I think she's going to, oh, by the way, I shouldn't have come here with a one. I had to come here with a two because the one was already, right. Jen's going to go there as well with her three. And she's hoping to find another black engine so she can ship, make three shipments with one action. Draw us four. And you do this in secret, by the way. And she, oh my gosh, she didn't get it. She found nobody. But she did find a green, so she will take the green. 
because that means she wants that objective now because that means this green engine could be worth two points. She didn't get the black she wanted, but, but uh, she got the next best thing, something that will be worth some points to her if she takes the time to get that objective. And she revealed another blue. I love blue trains because I've already used one blue train. There's an objective in here where every blue train is worth two points. So um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Jen just revealed that. I'm going to take that blue train, baby. I got a ticket to ride. Let's see, I'll put it on this one just to get this train complete so it's ready to go. And I want another blue train to put on this one so I could do them both with one action. So that's that. Jen's turn. All right, so what the heck? She cannot deliver all three of these with one action now, so she'll go on ahead and deliver this. And she will show that this train, which has three coal, or this train which has one coal is shipping to this contract. This train that has three coal is shipping to this contract. And so Jen has just made 10 points by shipping. And so she just takes all of these cards, all of them, because we won't um, reconcile them until the end of the game. So they just all go in the big old scoring pile. So remember, I got 10 points for a single shipment. Jen got 10 points for two shipments. That was a lot of work for her. Okay, so there's her points. And now she can start building her other trains. All right, my turn again. Now, I don't want Jen just to get this for free, but here's the thing, I can't, I could come here, a single action won't let me load this double, but I could come here specifically to do zero. And if I'm the only person who comes here, I will take this and I'll be first player in the next shift. So I want to save one of these to, so towards the end to play a game of chicken and hope I can squeeze in here and Jen can't follow. So, I, so if I'm saving this aside, that means I've got a one, a two, and a three because I'm saving this for that. Right, in which case, what do I need to do? Um, well, I'd like to get more blue trains to put it on this, so I could put, I could play a, one, a three and a one here to do a four to try and dig for more trains. I don't care about that contract. I don't care about that stock certificate. Oh wait, no. Oh, Jen wants this green objective though, because she's got a green train now. I see that. So what the heck? I'm gonna play uh, some dirty pool to go digging. So this is gonna go to the bottom of the deck. I draw four. And the, the, the thing that Jen wanted is going to disappear. You better believe, I don't have any green trains, so I'm putting this at the bottom of the deck. Ouch. And so, oh, four points if I ship five coal to the, to, the, uh, to the steamship company. And I've already done the steamship company. Four points if I ship five coal to my preferred company. And this one, two points for every completed contract to the shipping company. I want all three of these. But I can only take one and the other ones go to the bottom of the deck. You know what? I think I am more committed because, hey, look at this. Uh, to get these four points, I need to ship five coal to, th to this company. I've got five coal worth of shipping contracts. So this is what I want. I am taking this objective, baby. And it's public knowledge. Everybody knows this is something I want to do. The other ones go to the bottom of the deck. Uh, along with Jan's broken dash dreams of trying to get the green train. And I did that more than anything else just to stop her from getting it. But at the same time, I ended up getting lucky and got something that was perfect for me. Perfect! Although I had to pay four guys to do it. And Jen's like, ugh! She is not happy about that. So now that green train is useless to her. Although she wants to collect green... And oh, look at that! To add insult to injury, there's the black train she wanted. It was just one... Oh. Well, no, actually it was below the blue. Anyway, though. So, Jen... What has she got now? She's got a one, a two, and a two, and she's got two bonus actions she can do whenever she wants. <sighs> All right, and she has no contracts, so she needs more contracts. Oh, but look, she can get another stock certificate in the company that she likes. She could get this bonus, which would give her interest in completing contracts with this company that happens to have a contract out at the moment. So that's a possibility. She could. Um, and remember, if she does an action, in addition to, say, doing an action, she can do a bonus action as well, because she's got that bonus card anytime she needs it, if she's in a rush. She's basically banked an action for later. Mm. Um, right. Or she can come over here to try and lock this in and load a single onto there. Right. She needs a contract. I've totally forgotten. She has no objectives, does she? Does she? No, she doesn't. So it's not like she's bound. She has no contract, or I'm sorry, not contract, I mean objective. She has no objectives at all. She does, oh no, no. Okay, so she's done two contracts to this company. 
She's completed these. She's got one stock certificate. She needs another stock certificate. So she wants that stock. She totally wants that because that's a guaranteed three points to her. All right. So that means she'll send a two over here and go into that company a little bit more. That's three points for her guaranteed. Oh, and now stock certificate, contract, and objective, all three tied to that company, just sitting there waiting for somebody to grab them. Now, Jen just did this action. If she wants, she can do a bonus action, discard this card to immediately take another rail car. But she'll wait for later on that. So that was her turn. My turn. I'm down to my two workers. And I think now, now is the time. Let's see. Um, I, I know Jen has two workers. I don't know. Actually, I do know. What, if I look, if I do a head count, I can see through process elimination that Jen has a one and a two. So if I put this one down here, I know Jen can put her two down. So I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to wait as long as possible. And hopefully Jen will use her two so that I, she won't be able to follow me there. So where am I going to go with this two? Um, hmm, I could get another car. I could get another engine. I, I, I can't ship stuff off because I don't have a loaded train. I could load some stuff. I do need to load. Yeah, what the heck, let's load. Or, ooh, I came over here and I can get a, a, a one, two, three variety worker. Yeah, let's do that. So now I've got one of these that I can use in a pinch when I need it. So that's fine. Now it's Jen's turn. She's got this one and this two. What does she want to do? Um, let's see here. She could. She can't come over here to go digging because she would need a four total. She could do it with this, but again, she's saving this for a really uh, like an emergency. So, or you know, she could use these as a three. Wow, yeah, what the heck? She likes that. She likes free bonuses. Although she's spending three workers to get one free worker later. She could get another contract. She needs contracts. She could, she's got coal to load. Heck, she could just come here. Yeah, that makes sense. She would do three load actions. Oh no, but she has, but she only has one car. So she'll do that in a second. She'll come over here and get herself. Um, oh, but the, the coal she has to load doesn't match the cars that are out here. So neither of these cars are particularly attractive to her because she needs the yellow or the blue. And there's like, oh, man, what is she going to do? Oh, it's a tough choice. But you know what? I think I'm going to stop right there. Because at this point, you guys have seen a little bit of everything. The game keeps going. We go through a bunch of shifts. We keep you know, building up trains, shipping stuff off, trying to get matching objectives to, and, you know, and, and uh, stock certificates and contracts, um, coal that matches the cars, trains that match each other so we can do bonus actions, kind of wrangle over seeing who can be the last player to place here, even if you do no action, solely so you can get that one point and be first player next round, um, you know, and keep on go fishing. But I think you guys have got, seen a pretty good idea of what Glukalf, Das Grosse, Kart, and Spiel is all about. Now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner of the screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.